going on YouTube family, this is your man Pristine, back with another video. Welcome to the full Pristine review for the OnePlus 9 Pro. Let's dive right into this thing. Um, where do I begin? You know, OnePlus, they're, they're, they're a bit of an interesting story. You know, they, they, they went from, from, from one of my favorites, and, you know, they've, they've, they've kind of, you know, digressed to just another option. Now, a good option, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I, when I say that, I'm not saying that trying to slam or slander the device itself because it's a really good device. But the approach that, that, that got OnePlus their claim to fame, you know, their, 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 uh, 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 you know, putting out these flash, these flagship killing type devices, right? You know what I mean? Making devices with the same premium build quality as the flagships, same process or internal uh, specifications as the flagships, you know, same camera performances. Well, not necessarily close, um, but I mean, I feel like each year that they made a new device, you know, inching closer and closer to get with the elites in the camera department. But I mean, as far as like overall performance features, functions, all that kind of thing, you know, they're, they've just been right there, you know what I mean? Neck to neck with some of the heavy hitters, you know what I mean? But they would make device, devices like this at a fraction of the cost. And you know, that was one of the main things that really, really put OnePlus on the map. It's like, boom, out of nowhere, this company just came, from out of nowhere and now they're in contention with apple samsung you know what i mean because they're making you know just as capable devices at a fraction of the cost like who is this company right one plus now that was their claim to fame ladies and gentlemen now did they carry on tradition not for long because as the years have gone by and they made new devices to contend with the Apples and the Samsungs and the Xiaomi's and the Huawei's and the LG's. Rest in peace, LG, might I add. What a shame, what a shame. Um, we've noticed that there's been, you know, price inflations with the flagship OnePlus devices. And I'm not really too big of a fan of that. And I understand, okay, well, some people are like, well, hey, you know, they gotta, they gotta up the price to be able to meet the financial requirement that it takes to build these devices to stay in contention with devices with, you know, like, like Apple and Samsung. And in my mind, I'm like, yo, they did it before. So it's like, what's the difference between now and then? Okay, what? They was trying to get their name on the map, you know what I'm saying? Now they got a little bit of a name, you know what I'm saying? They got some exclusive, they, they, they got some exclusive deals, you know what I'm saying? I mean, now their, their phones are in the T-Mobile stores exclusively. Now their phones are in Verizon. Now they're at AT&T, you know what I'm saying? Now they're being sold at Best Buy, you know what I'm saying? You can go get the OnePlus 9, 9 Pro, the N10 5G. You can go get all that at Best Buy. Uh, online retailers, Amazon, eBay, uh, uh, Newegg, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 B&H Photo, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can get, you can cop some OnePlus devices, right? They got a little bit of a name, so it's like now, you know what I'm saying? They don't win Hollywood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't win Hollywood, in my opinion. You know, meaning that, I mean, the way they used to treat the customer, as far as the product, and, it, and, and, and the overall quality of it at a fraction of the cost to, to undercut the competition, now they're just another piece of competition. You know what I mean? You're finding same prices, you know, and granted, you know, yes, you know, they, they, they come with, you know, you know, there's a one plus nine, you know, if you're not, if you don't want to pay the 1100 for the pro here, you can get the one plus nine at a cool, you know, 799. You know what I mean? I guess that particular device is the one that's contending with the S21, right? So it's like, you know, they got different devices that are coming out of different price variations, but all in all, every year we're seeing prices go up. And it's like, if you want that top dog one, you know what they say, you got to pay to play. Hashtag bars, you know what I'm saying? Now, I, you know, these reviews, you know, their objective is subjective. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely entitled to my opinion. And I don't like that approach. I don't like the fact that every year when a new OnePlus device comes out, if it's the flagship variation, there's going to be a price hike. That's what it's been over the years. And, that, and, it, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down. Okay. I'm not a big fan of that. You know, it's like, man, give us this. 
Give us the OnePlus 9 Pro at $799. Give us the OnePlus 9 at $599. You know what I'm saying? You know, something, you know, something, something like that. You know, don't give us the OnePlus 9 at $799 and then the Pro at $1199. It's like, I mean, or, or $1099, man. It's like, come on, man. Are you serious? Look, I'm going to tell you guys straight up right now, man. I'm going to just cut straight to the chase. This phone is nice, but it ain't worth $1,100. You know what I'm saying? Even with the Hasselblad acquisition or the Hasselblad collaboration, has the camera department got better? Yes, it has. But is it $1,100 better? Or You know what I'm saying? Or is it, yeah, yeah, $1,100? Not in my opinion. Not in my opinion, man. Let's get into this thing, man. So, you know, obviously, you know, price, you know, um, the one plus nine is gonna run you. Oh, I'm sorry, seven uh, seven twenty nine is is uh, is for the one plus nine. Okay, seven twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, that'll get you the one hundred twenty eight gigabyte variant, eight gigabytes of RAM of the one plus nine. Now, if you want the one plus nine Pro here, it's one thousand sixty nine dollars uh, for the two fifty six gig variant. All right, I, I, I'm I, I mean. Some of you guys be like, yo, pristine, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, 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 you're like a mirror image of Flossie. No, I'm not, because Flossie got his thing going on and I got my thing going on, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a fan of Flossie's work, you know what I'm saying? I've been subscribed to Flossie long before I even started a YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? So I'd be lying if, if I didn't, if I sat here and said that some of his material hasn't influenced me. And I may say certain things that may sound like Flossie, but it's the reality. When it comes to these prices, they just too damn high. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to my man Flossie out there, man, doing it big, man. Yeah. Now, for the specifications, if you forgot, let me let me take you down memory lane real quick, man. We got a 6.7 inch, 1440 by 3216 LTPO Fluid 2 AMOLED 120 hertz HDR10 plus display. Maximum brightness tops out at 1300 nits. If you got a problem seeing the screen, you need to, you, 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 you man, optometrist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you got a problem seeing this display as bright as it gets, yeah, you need to make that appointment. You need to go for that visit. You know what I'm saying? You overdue for that visit, man. You know what I'm saying? You need to get you some contacts, get you some focals. You know what I'm saying? Man, they got some stylish glasses out there nowadays, man. You know what I'm saying? They got some stylish ones out there, man. Don't be, don't be afraid to get your glasses game on, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it, man. You ain't going to get picked on. You know what I'm saying? That's a thing of the past. You know? St st step your eye game up if you got a problem seeing this display at 1,300 nits max brightness. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Now, we've got a 90.3 screen to body ratio. We've got a 20 point one by nine aspect ratio 525 ppi pixel density gorilla glass five on the front and back we've got an aluminum frame ip68 water and dust resistant uh, and let's see supports srgb display p3 and 10 bit color depth yeah yeah you got a lot going on with this display man a lot going on all right now the internal specifications obviously you know we've got the qualcomm snapdragon 888 processor we've got the octa-core cpu we've got an adreno 640 uh, or 660 gpu there is no memory expansion okay so there's 12 gigs of ram here 256 gigabytes of storage we're running android 11 with oxygen os 11 running on top and uh yeah those are the specifications right there so what you got to ask yourself with reading all that is is all that worth over a thousand bucks to you okay is is all that worth over a thousand bucks to you see I'm, I'm not even going front ladies and gentlemen i've gotten i've gotten kind of bored with the smartphone game you know because a lot of these phones they're very similar there's not too too many differences and these prices are just going up. And, you know, I can't front. You know what I'm saying? I splurge on these devices. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any manufacturer sponsorship, man. So those of you that be talking all that nonsense, oh, man, Pristine is on the payroll. Pristine is getting free this, free that. Man, I ain't got nothing for free, man. Shout out to my man, Jay Will. The only thing that I got free, Jay Will sent me a pair of, uh, a pair of uh, Bluetooth earbuds to review. And I still ain't cracked them joints out of the box, man. I'm going to get to them joints in a, in, a, in a minute. Good looking, man. Shout out to my man, Jay Will. You know what I'm saying? Aside from that, all these phones that you see on my channel, I buy them with my hard-earned cash. Okay? 
I have zero sponsorship at this point. That's what I'm working towards. So given the fact that I'm paying my hard earned money for these devices, yo, you know what I'm saying? When these devices come out, man, I got to sit back and I got to make a business decision. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I want to grow my channel. But at the same time, it's like, man, I mean, I understand, you know, you got to spend money to make money. And this ain't about making money, even though this can prove to be very lucrative. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, that's not what I'm in it for. I'm in it just to help you guys make an informed decision. But in the process of doing this, would I like to get paid for it? Absolutely. And I just quite haven't made it to that point yet. Do I make a little bit of money? Yeah. And the little crumbs that I do make, I put that back into the business and it helps me buy more devices to feature here on the channel. So, I mean, I just want you to get that through you guys' skulls. That's thinking that I'm just getting drop shipments every week, every other day with phones from these manufacturers to review. No, that's not the reality, pimpin'. That's not the reality. You know what I'm saying? I spend my hard earned cheese on these devices, man. So it's like when they come out, man, I got to make a business decision. Am I trying to splurge over a, over a G every time a new device come out? Hell no. To the no, no, no. <laughs> I can sing that one to you, baby. I can sing that one to you. No. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not. That's why I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what a disappointment to see these price inflations just continuously going up with OnePlus devices. You know what I'm saying? Is this phone a good device? Yes. Yes, it's a good device. And stick with me because I'm going to tell you why. Okay? Um, so, you know, th th those are the price and, and, and the specs. Now, obviously, you know... Um, you know, I, like I said, I'm not big. I'm not a big fan of the price, but those specs that I ran off. I mean, you know, when we talk about the the performance, then yeah, you know, you got a little something to boast about. But before I get there, let let, let me let me um and shout out to my man Mike Myers here on the on the on 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 the wallpaper there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just looking looking uh you know ever ever so eloquent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is a uh, uh, no lives matter stance. You know what I'm saying? I understand. You know, we got a lot of a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, uh, racial and, and 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 social injustices going on, and 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 you know, you know, we got you know Black Lives Matter movement going on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, going going strong. You know what I'm saying? As it should be. You know, man. You know, you got the police out here screaming, "Blue Lives Matter, White Lives Matter." You know what I'm saying? Asian Lives Matter. Yeah, man. Look, check this out, man. I'm a child of God, man. We were created by the same Creator. When He created us, He didn't. Ha God didn't have all this divide in mind. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to let man take me down that path. I'm going to say it. All lives matter. Okay? But in the eyes of this guy right here, no lives matter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You better ask about Michael Myers, man. Yeah. But uh, this build quality. Look at that. Isn't that cute? You know what I'm saying? What color is this? Morning mist. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. So you see how like at the bottom of the device, it's got like a mirror finish. And then at the top, it's just kind of like, you know, the, 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 the reflection of myself just kind of goes away. It just, it turns into a blur, right? But then, you know, the more I go down, then you got more of that mirror effect. Like, I like that. That's pretty dope. Again, Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back of this device. Not Corning's uh, uh, latest and greatest uh, a uh, greater glass, you know, right now we know that Corning Gorilla Glass Victus, you know, Victus is their latest and greatest. Why OnePlus didn't decide to put that here, I don't know. But I mean, I'm content with Corning Gorilla Glass 5. You know, it doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have to have the latest, you know, uh, glass technology on it because it's glass, ladies and gentlemen. Look, don't, don't, don't get tricked into believing that just because these glass, these, these, these little shades of glass got these fancy names that they're just indestructible. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I got that Victus on my phone. Yeah, man, I got just supreme durability. Yeah, drop that joint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do a drop test right now. And let's see how much durability you got pimping. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be on the phone with OnePlus filing that claim. You know? Yeah, don't get it confused with these little fancy names. Gorilla Glass 5, Gorilla Glass Victus. Look, it's glass, people. It's glass. You know what I'm saying? You drop it, that's your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's glass. You drop it, that's your ass. You're going to be filing a claim. So just take my advice. 
Get a case and a screen protector. Protect your investment. Your investment. After you paid all this money for this device, you really want to be walking around. You know, how can you be satisfied with your device when you're looking at it and it's all cracked up to be damned? Hmm? After you don't spent all that money. And don't let these carriers, if you get this device from a carrier, don't let them trick you. Don't get bamboozled. You know how I go. You go in, you get the phone, and then they come out with a case full of screen protectors and, 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 and cases. The case is 50, 60, 70 bucks. The screen protector is another 40, 50 bucks. And they sit there and talk that talk. Oh, you want to protect your investment? You just spent all this money. When in reality, all this money that we're spending for these devices, the case and the screen protector should come in the box. But look, just save yourself some cheese. Go to Amazon. Okay, go to Amazon, type in, you know what I'm saying, cases for whatever phone you got, you know what I'm saying, or cases for the OnePlus 9 Pro. It's going to pull up a plethora of cases and screen protectors at a very, very, very affordable cost. That's where your man Pristine gets all his cases and screen protectors from. Well, cases, I don't do screen protectors because I just don't drop my devices. But if you got the dropsies, yeah, you want to get that screen protector, yo, straight up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what you want to do. All right. So, you know, the build quality, I'm a fan of it. Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and back. I love the aesthetics, the cosmetics of the device. I like the fact that it is rounded. And that's a pretty dramatic round on the corners, on the, on the right and the left side of the device. But that just makes for a much more comfortable hold. Again, this phone is 6.7 inches. You know, it's kind of big. It's kind of big, actually, but you know, in actuality, for me, the phone actually feels kind of small because I've been rocking real tough with my Galaxy Z Fold 2, and that phone is thick, it's heavy, it's chunky, and so actually, you know, holding my OnePlus 9 Pro in my hand is actually uh, uh, a bit of a relief, but I mean, for those of you that have small hands out there that want this device, it's, it's, it's nowhere near as heavy as the Z Fold 2, okay? Uh, this is a featherweight compared to the Z Fold 2, but I mean, it's, it's, it's light. It's not that heavy, even though, you know, the screen it's big in size. Don't let that intimidate you. Okay. It feels good in the hand. You know, I can easily wield this device with absolutely no problems at all whatsoever. As you see me doing here, it's just, it's not a problem. I mean, it's got a little bit of grip ability to it, even though it's glass, it doesn't feel like really slick or slippery. You know what I mean? Like some devices do. This doesn't have that feel. I mean, so, you know, I, you know, the, 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 the build quality on the OnePlus 9 Pro gets the pristine seal of approval. All right. It gets the pristine seal of approval. Now, performance. I mean, look, I mean, do I even really need to talk about performance? I mean, you know, like I said, I mean, you got the Snapdragon 888 processor. You got 12 gigabytes of RAM. You got 256 gigabytes of storage. I mean, you got 120 hertz refresh rate display. I mean, really? I mean, what, 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 what can I tell, what can I tell you about the performance on this device that you don't probably already know just by, just by listening to the specs, listening to what this thing has within it. You know what I mean? And again, it's a OnePlus device. One of the things that OnePlus has mastered, no matter how I feel about their prices or, or quality about this or that is they always have buttery smooth performance. Oxygen OS is my second, second my second favorite user interface compared to One UI. And you know, Samsung, I love what they've done with One UI and you know, just the custom the customizations and you know, all the features and functions that come the that come with One UI. One UI is dope. And I think that this is very similar to One UI. You know, it's not too dramatic. Those of you that are like stock Android enthusiasts, Oxygen OS isn't going to take you too far away from that, but it's going to give you more bells and whistles, more customization options, more features and functions to play with if you're into those kind of things. And so Yo, I'm, I'm digging Oxygen OS. Like I said, I mean, we got buttery, and I mean buttery smooth performance here. 120 hertz refresh rate display. I'm connected to Wi-Fi right now. I mean, so, you know, speeds are going to differ. You know, it's going to be based on your Wi-Fi connection, which mine is super strong in my house, which is what I'm connected to. Um, but I mean, it's, it's going to, you know, speeds are going to differ depending on who your carrier is. OK, I got mine from T-Mobile. You know what I mean? It's running off of their 5G network. I have absolutely no problems. Things have always been buttery smooth. My SIM card is. Yeah, my T-Mobile SIM card is in my iPhone 12 mini, so it's not in here. But I mean, even when my, my SIM card is in this joint, no problems. Buttery smooth uh, performance, no lag, no stutter, no nothing. 
you know, I'll just pop into Spotify here, you know, get into some real content heavy applications that I've got that typically can take a second or two or three or four, depending on the device. You see that the OnePlus 9 Pro here just breezes right into it with no problems at all whatsoever. Same with YouTube Music. Got a lot of stuff going on with YouTube Music, videos, playlist, all kind of stuff. And um, you see it just chop through that like a hot knife through butter. You know what I'm saying? We'll go to Amazon real quick, do a little shop and spend a little bit of money, baby. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? You get up into that, Best Buy or GameStop, whatever. I thought I hit Best Buy. Um, speaking of games, man, woo! You know, today, what's today? Today is Tuesday, May 4th. Oh, man, Friday, that new Resident Evil 8 come out, man. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Big time. Okay, here we go. Pop into Best Buy real quick. You guys get the picture. Okay, swipe up and hold. This is going to take you to all your recents. Again, 12 gigs of RAM. I mean, so if you want to, if you're curious to know uh, what RAM management is like, man, wow, that's interesting. It had to reload YouTube. That's very rare. Pop back in the GameStop. Wow, it had to reload GameStop too. Okay, well that's interesting. Typically, I mean it 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 holds the open applications in the RAM very well, and it doesn't have to reload them. So why it's doing that now? I'm not too sure. But it is what it is. All right. Go ahead and close that out. Boom. Performance. Okay. Now the cameras. Now. This 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 is the 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 department where um, <clears throat> where most of the emphasis was put by OnePlus when referring to the OnePlus Nine and the OnePlus Nine Pro. Why? Because of the collaboration with Hasselblad. All right, and you know, for the last few years that I can recall, one of the main things that the OnePlus devices have been getting you know completely scandalized and maligned on is their camera performance. Now, me personally, as I've said in several videos, um, I'm not a camera professional. You know what I'm saying? All I can do is point and shoot, take a flick, you know what I'm saying? And that's it. <laughs> and and by the looks of that photo, I can tell you whether or not I think it's good with the naked eye. You know, I can look at what's going on in the real world and then look down at that photo and compare the two. And based on what I'm seeing, that's the information that I'm going to convey to you guys. But it's like I don't get all into, you know, the, 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 the photography and videography lingo and all that. Like I'm just not that advanced when it comes to that type of stuff. Now, my, my skills have been sharpened up and I've learned a lot of things since becoming a reviewer because obviously we're dealing with cameras and 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 recorder uh, camcorders and and all that type of stuff and and you know different options with the camera on all these different smartphones that I've had and so I've learned some things but I mean it, it's it you know the fact of the matter is ladies and gentlemen we're in 2021 okay they say the best camera that you have is the one that's on your person mostly and that's your smartphone. And we've seen how over the years cameras have gotten better and better and better on their smartphones every year you know what i mean so at this frame of the game ladies and gentlemen i mean it's pretty complicated to get a camera on a phone that is just complete trash right even some of your most basic inexpensive budget devices are going to have some decent cameras on them right decent at the least okay so you know when, when you start talking about the upper echelon cameras you know the huawei xiaomi's samsung's apples you know what i'm saying LG's, you know, a lot of people don't like to throw LG in that conversation, man. LG to me is right up in that conversation, man, because they've innovated a lot of the camera tech that we love on a lot of our smartphones today, and they don't get the credit for it. You know what I'm saying? And I was giving them their roses when they there, when they was there before they decided to opt out. I'm definitely for sure gonna give them their roses in the aftermath. Rest in peace, LG, man. And I'm gonna keep saying that. You know what I'm saying? Um. Uh. But I mean, when we start talking about these upper echelon cameras, okay, I think this year, I think that this year, you know, OnePlus can finally say that they're right there neck and neck with Apple, with Samsung. You know, to me personally, you know, I, I, I thought that their cameras took good photos. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm like any, you know, look, any phone that I have, if I pull it out and I take a picture of something and that picture looks good, that image quality looks good, I can rock with it. I'm satisfied. You know what I mean? I'm not concerned about, you know, all the, all, all this and that. 
and all the extras and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, every now and then I may use the ultra wide or the telephoto, you know what I'm saying? But mostly I'm just a point and shoot guy with the primary sensor. You know, I just talk about a lot of those things just because, you know, when doing reviews, you know, people, they want to know about those things. But for me, I'm very, I keep it simple. You know what I'm saying? I keep it very simple. Um, now, with the, with, 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 with the acquisition of, of Hasselblad, um, and you got to look at that. Look at, look at the cameras. I mean, the camera system here is, is, is pretty dramatic. Like when you hold it up, I mean, there's a, there's a camera hump back there, obviously, but it doesn't, it doesn't protrude as much as it may look like when you're looking at it like that. I mean, you'd be like, man, that's, that's some pretty serious camera tech right there. And you would think that it would just be massively protruding off the device, but it's not. It's kind of flush, and, and I've got a case that I put on this bad boy, um, and you know it's got a lip, so it protects the camera lenses. I mean, so when your when your you know phone is sitting on a flat surface, it's not like the lenses themselves are scraping up against the table or desk or you know whatever the surface is that you got your device sitting on top of. All right, now we've got a 48 megapixel primary sensor. We've got a 50 megapixel ultra wide sensor. We've got an eight megapixel telephoto sensor and a two megapixel depth sensor. Okay. Featuring Hasselblad color calibration, dual LED flash, HDR, panorama, PDAF, optical image stabilization, 3.3 times optical zoom, and laser autofocus. Okay. We do have. 8K recording at 30 frames per second, 4K recording at 30, 60, or 120 frames per second, 1080p recording at 30, 60, or 240 frames per second. Also featuring auto HDR and gyro electronic image stabilization. Okay, now that's just for the camera array that you see right here on the rear. All right, now on the front, which the camera sensor is right here, right there in the corner, We've got, that's a 16 megapixel sh uh, shooter. Now, what I've been doing lately in typical fashion is at the very end of the video, you know, the camera review is there. And so if you are just super anxious to check out that video quality and those still shot image quality, then just go ahead and click the timestamp in the red bar on the bottom of the video or you can just go into the description box and click on the timestamp camera and it'll take you right to it. All right. Um, now, personally, I think that the cameras are really, really good. Um, but I thought that they were good before. I'm not going to sit here and say that I can't notice an improvement from last year's OnePlus flagship devices because there is like pic picture quality just seems to be I don't want to say much more, but it's more it's it's noticeably more crisp. And the color accuracy is a little more on point, but I mean, it, it like it, it's it's definitely suitable in my mind. I mean, it's up there with the elites. You know what I mean? But I didn't think that last year's iterations of the OnePlus flagship devices cameras were terrible either. You know what I mean? I mean, so you know, I mean, if you want a more in depth you know, camera review, you may want to, you know, check out, you know, Marquez Brownlee, you know, his video, you know, where he goes into a lot of that type of stuff. Me, I'm just like, yo, I point and I shoot. It looks amazing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's just what the business is, man. <laughs> you know, um, I, I don't get into all that, you know, camera jargon and this and that. Nah, it's just, does the picture look good when you take the photo? And to me, the answer, yes. That's all I need to know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all I need to know. All right, so moving right along, battery life. Now, we've got a 4,500 milliamp hour non-removable battery. We've got a fast charging brick at 65 watts. That, yes, it does come in the box. They didn't pull an Apple or a Samsung. It's not an additional uh, accessory that you have to purchase. Charges from 0 to 129 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. And can I vouch for this? Absolutely. Absolutely, I can vouch for this. This phone literally charges. I mean, if you've only got, if you're in a rush and you and your phone is near dead and you've only got maybe, you know, five, 10 minutes to spare, just toss it on the charger real quick. Five or 10 minutes. If your phone is on zero, five or 10 minutes, you'll be at like 50% battery life. 
I mean, the, 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 the charging speeds, well, maybe that's a little bit of an over-exaggeration. Maybe 40, 45%. It could be 50 <laughs> in, 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 that amount of, in that short amount of time. This phone charges super fast. Super fast. It does. I mean, it's insane how quickly this phone charges. I mean, and of course, you know, we do have wireless fast charging at 50 watts, but the only thing that sucks about that is you have to buy the OnePlus branded fast wireless charger in order to get that 50 watt charging speed. Like I've got a Samsung fast wireless charger sitting right over here to the right on my desk. I can put this phone on it and it'll charge, but it's only going to charge at like 15 watts. It's not going to charge at the 50 watts. Okay, even if, and that's the old Samsung fast charger. Samsung has a newer fast charger. Well, I think, I think still, if I put this on that, because of the fact that it's not the OnePlus branded wireless fast charger, it's not going to charge at that 50 watt charging speed, which for a wireless charger is fast. That's hella fast. All right. Um, and I think that's going to run you like $69.99. So 70 bucks if you want to get that accessory. To me, it's just not worth it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just plug it in. You know, you're not going to get any faster charging speeds than just plugging this thing into the wall with a 65 watt charger. It's just ridiculous. Now, additional features. Some of the things that I like most, some of my favorite features about the OnePlus 9 Pro is just simple things. I'm a simple guy. You know what I mean? When I get a new smartphone, I don't prefer for them to be all the same, but there are certain features that I want all my smartphones to have because I've just gotten so accustomed to having these things on a smartphone. What are you talking about, Pristine? Well, double tap to sleep and double tap to wake. And you see how it just went straight to the desktop. That was that lightning fast facial recognition. So let me go ahead and get out of the way here. And there's like a little green ring that goes around the camera when it's looking for your face, when you're trying to use facial recognition. We've got a super lightning quick fingerprint sensor and it's under the display. Okay. Now notice the fingerprint sensor. I know that some people, they griped about its placement. Normally it's like up here a little bit. But for whatever reason, OnePlus decided to put it down here at the bottom of the display. I know that some people, they griped about that. Me, is it a big deal? Absolutely not. And people made it seem like it's just such a big deal to be able to move your thumb down to where it's at. Look, when, we're hold when I'm holding my phone, I'm holding my phone like this. This is typically how I hold my phone when I do hold it in my hand, or I'm holding it like this. If it's a two-handed operation, I rarely ever hold the phone to my ear because I got several Bluetooth devices that, are you know, that I can connect to you know, just stay connected wirelessly. Okay, if I need to access that fingerprint sensor, look, I can easily move my thumb to here to here with no problems. You know what I mean? So it's like some of these reviewers are just just lazy. I just feel like they just they, they look for anything to nitpick about. It's like, oh, my God, you know, the, 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 the fingerprint sensor placement. Oh, my God, it's just such a cumbersome task to slightly move my thumb down. Oh, God. It's like, man, kill all that, man. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just came up in a different era, man. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of these cats, man, they be on some powder puff stuff, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just some cupcakes out here, man. They just, they just, everything just can't be at your exact convenience. But does it mean that the feature is, is unusable? No, absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? It's an under display fingerprint sensor that's going to work 100% of the time super fast as I just displayed. So why cry about its placement? It is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Rather than honing in on its placement, why not talk about the fact that it's super reliable, it's super quick, and it's super secure. Rather than griping over its placement, as I just displayed, the placement is nothing. You know what I'm saying? So what if you got to move your thumb down just a smidge to get to it? Ooh, big deal. Cupcake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, these cats be killing me with some of the nonsense that they be talking about in these reviews, man, trying to slander devices, man. The fingerprint sensor works just fine. As I've displayed, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm saying? It works just fine. It's not, it's not a problem. It's placement is not a problem. In my opinion, that's my opinion. It may be a problem to you. 
And if it is, then you just saw that lightning fast uh, uh, facial recognition. But I mean, to me, the fingerprint placement is not a problem. It's definitely not something that people should be griping and complaining about. Man, it is what it is. People just find any little thing to complain about anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm. All right. So I like that. The dual stereo speakers is another one of my favorite features on this device because they sound utterly amazing. Utterly amazing. Now, is a dual speaker a determining factor for a device of mine? Absolutely not because I am wirelessly connected to Bluetooth devices. I got Bluetooth speakers. I got several pairs of Bluetooth headphones or earbuds. So that's not really a big deal. But if you are the type of individual that likes to bump cuts on your phone and you're concerned about the overall speaker quality, you've got one here in the earpiece and one that's bottom firing. What's that mean? That means that you're going to get optimal sound from these speakers. Big sound. Big sound. Matter of fact, here, let me, let me pull up a little something real quick. Oh, hold up. Hold up. All right, y'all, back in. So look, I got one of my previous videos that I've uploaded queued up, you know, end of the video, camera review. You guys know typically at the end of the video when I'm rolling the still shots, you know, I'll put some, you know, put some little musical heaven for your ears for you guys to jam to while you're listening to the video. Shout out to Epidemic Sound, man. Epidemic Sound is a website. It's all for, it's a music. It's, it's, it's all music for creators, all right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's, they, there is some stuff on there that's free, but I think if you want to use you know, uh, 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 music on Epidemic Sound in your videos, d you have to pay the subscription. And the, the one that I have is like 15 bucks a month. It's, it's super worth it. You know, there's a lot of, uh, uh, royalty free music that I found on YouTube some years ago. And I was using those beats and things to make my camera reviews only for years later. Those, those beats, were sold to artists and artists actually used those beats for songs that they wanted to make, whether it was a rap song, an R&B song or whatever, you know what I mean? And then, you know, whoever they were signed to, that label had the rights to that beat, which meant that YouTube was sending me, you know, emails saying, hey, you know what I'm saying? You got this beat featured in this video, you know what I'm saying? We ain't saying you got to take it down, but, and I noticed a lot of those videos, I can't even access them. They've taken them down. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you're a creator and you want to make sure and you want some solid quality music for your videos, check out epidemicsound.com. Sign up for this uh, for the subscription. It's 15 bucks a month. Some of you guys may be like, hey, that's a little bit steep. But like I said, man, when you're trying to produce quality, you know, quality work, man, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a price associated with that. So for me, 15 bucks a month is very well worth it because every one of these beats that you hear and there's hundreds. And as long as you keep the subscription, you're covered. You know what I mean? You're covered. So a lot of this music that you guys hear in my videos and you guys may be like, man, where's pristine getting that from, man? Epidemic sound, epidemicsound.com. Okay. Now if somebody from epidemic want to shoot me a check, yo, you know what I'm saying? My All my contact information is in the video, yo. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Break your boy off a little something for the plug. For the plug. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, uh, speakers. Speakers. Here we go. Go ahead and turn it up. Wow, you can just hear, you know, hear the bass and just the fact that the phone is sitting on this stand, you can, you can hear it like, feel it rocking the table a little bit, a little bit, a little vibration. Let the beat kick in a little bit. Again, we got a bottom firing speaker here. Okay, I've got that plugged up. Much louder once I remove my finger and then we've got the the treble and the highs coming from the ears receiver here. Wow, listen to that treble. Listen to the clarity on that treble.
Yeah. So, again, um, that's uh, that's 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 pretty heavy. You know what I mean? That's 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 crazy sound coming from these speakers on this device. I mean, so you know, if you're the type that you know you you gotta have uh, 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 dual stereo speakers on your device that sound amazing. It's one thing to have dual stereo speakers on your device, but it's another to have them and they sound amazing. Just because the device has dual stereo speakers does not mean that they sound good. All dual stereo speakers are not created equal. <laughs> okay, you guys got to be mindful of that. There's been some dual stereo speaker devices that I've had and they sounded like absolute trash. And I'm an audiophile, like I got an ear for this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I know what sounds good versus what doesn't. Okay, we do have Dolby Atmos. Uh, 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 on this device. I mean, so you do have the ability to customize your sound. There is a full on equalizer for you to adjust the sound however you want to. There's like seven or eight different presets that you can choose from if you're not really into or just, you know, don't really know how to customize your own sound. Maybe you can choose one of the presets that'll work out for you and just rock out like that. Either or, we do have Dolby Atmos on this device. If you're an audiophile like myself, you're going to be stoked over Dolby Atmos. You know what I mean? Now, nowadays, it's like when I get a new device, that's actually like one of the first things that I'm checking for because, again, I'm totally wireless. So whether it be in my car or listening to Bluetooth headphones wirelessly, I'm like, yo, I got to have something. I got to have technology in this phone that's going to give me the ability to adjust my sound or tweak my sound because I am a music guy. OK, if a phone does not have Dolby Atmos, I'm looking at it with that screw face, man. You know what I'm saying? Music is a huge part of my life, man. And it's like, depending on whatever device I'm rocking with, if I can't get my sound right, my sound quality right, that's a problem for me. Okay. So we got Dolby Atmos, you know what I'm saying? I mean, with the ability to customize the sound, that's huge. You just heard the dual stereo speakers. They sound amazing, super loud. Hey, even at its loudest volume, did it, it didn't sound distorted or anything like that. It actually sounds just as good, if not better, than some of these smaller, inexpensive Bluetooth devices. These little Bluetooth speakers that sound like trash. I mean, this phone sounds better than some of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I would think so, given the fact that this phone costs, you know, damn near 1100 bucks. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, um, yeah, so, um, and then of course the camera. You know, the camera, you know, I gotta say, you know, I. Was that, was that, I think it was a Huawei, the Huawei Mate 9. I want to say it had a Hasselblad collaboration, but I think that was like, a, I can't remember. But either way, with the Hasselblad, with the Hasselblad collab, hashtag bars, you know, the cameras, whether it be the selfie camera or the main cameras on the rear are dope. And, you know, like I said, I mean, the camera reviews at the tail end of this video, you know, of course, I'm gonna have some musical heaven for your ears to jam to while you're peeping that content. Let me know what you think about that down below in the comments. But yeah, the cameras, I gotta say, man, the cameras are on point. You know, I definitely see what, what all the fuss is about. It's not like they ran it and raved it and raved about this collaboration and then they put it out and it didn't live up to live up to code. To me, it lives up to it. I've heard some people, I've read some stuff that people have said. I guess there's some updates that, that, that are supposed to be pushed. Um, that are going to make, you know, certain things better, what have you. My personal experience with the device, the cameras are solid. They're, they're good. I mean, to me, they're just as good as, the, you know, the Samsungs, the Apples, you know, of the world, in my opinion. That's in my opinion. Some of you guys may call me crazy. Some of you guys may feel me. It is what it is. That's just my opinion. All right. So, um, final thoughts. Who, man, oh, who, is this device a good device? Yes. Is it worth the price to me? No. Okay, even with the Snapdragon 888, I understand one of the main reasons why it's priced as high as it is because you got 12 gigs of RAM to, you know, all those things factor into the cost. 12 gigs of RAM is overkill. It's overkill. 8 gigs of RAM can be considered overkill. You know, I just feel like a lot of these phone manufacturers, you know, I mean, not to be vulgar or anything like that, but man, they just want to have nut swinging competitions. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Who got, you know, who, 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 who got, who got the biggest? You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, my device has 10, you know, 8 gigs of RAM. Well, top this. My device has got 12 gigs of RAM. Top that, buddy. Ha, ha, ha. Like, it's just, it's, 
they're, they're cockfighting. You know what I'm saying? It's like, is it's 12 gigs of RAM necessary? That's more, that's more gigs of RAM than some computers have on a smartphone. Like, it's, it's, to me, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, um, you know, I feel like this phone would perform just as good with 8 gigs of RAM. Check out my man Jay Will's uh, 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 full review that he did on the OnePlus 9. And tell me if you see a, signif a significant difference in performance from the OnePlus 9 to the performance that I displayed here for the OnePlus 9 Pro. You know what I mean? This sitting at 12 gigs of RAM, the OnePlus 9 has 8 gigs of RAM. Okay? The OnePlus 9 is also $799, or I'm sorry, $729.99, which is hundreds less than this. So, I, you know, if I'm recommending somebody buy a OnePlus 9, I'm probably going to recommend that, you know, you just get the OnePlus 9. Do you, you don't need the Pro. I mean, with the Pro, what are you getting? You're getting some additional camera tech? Let me see. Yeah, you're getting you're getting some additional camera tech, you know. Um, you know, we do have NFC, Bluetooth 5.2. Um, oh, there is always on display as well. Okay, I'm a huge fan of that. Now I have my always on display set to where it's it it, it comes on at 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. But I love it. It's bright. It's vibrant. It's big. You can easily make out anything. You can customize how you want the always on display to look. You can customize the brightness. You can set it up on, um, on automatic brightness depending on the lighting conditions. You know, the always on display will either be bright or darker depending on, you know, the environment. Um, so that's another one of my favorite features. Always on display is another big thing. That's one of those features where it's like, okay, I've been spoiled by it. If a phone doesn't have it, I'm kind of scratching my head. I mean, can I do without it? Yeah, but I mean, would I prefer to have it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, but you're going to get all that with the exception of the additional camera technology on the OnePlus 9. So don't spend 1100 bucks for this. You know what I'm saying? Get the OnePlus 9. Play the, pay the $729.99. And, you know, it's been out for a little bit now. You know what I'm saying? About a month, maybe a month and a half. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some deals. There's some discounts. Make sure you check out Best Buy. You know what I'm saying? Because they always got open box items. And they're classified in three different categories. Excellent condition. Uh, fair condition or or what is it it's excellent fair and something else but there's different price points obviously excellent of course they got to shave off the price some because it's been opened but that's probably going to be closer to full retail but I mean when you start getting into good condition and then fair condition you know the device it may not have a box you know what I'm saying or somebody you know may have not they may not have you know put the instruction manual back in the box or, you know, it may be missing a component or two, but you may be able to get the phone for like 600, if not cheaper. You see what I'm saying? I mean, so make sure you check out Best Buy, man. You can get the phone fully unlocked at steep discounts when you find them open box, man. I've gotten a lot of deals on smartphones at Best Buy through open box. You know, of course, when it's open box, they let you take it out of the box, inspect it, turn it on, play with it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that everything is everything before you make that purchase. So it's not like you're making that purchase blindly. Okay. Now they're not going to do that with brand new devices, but if it's open box, there are some advantages because you can, you can get hands on with that device before you even pay the price for it. You know what I'm saying? So don't sleep on Best Buy, man. Open box items is where it's at, man. You can get some real deal discounts on open box items. All right, so check out bestbuy.com, or if you're looking for one of these, try down to your local Best Buy. They got them. They got them. All right? So um, that's that's pretty much all I got, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, am, am I enjoying the OnePlus 9 Pro? Yeah. Yeah, I am. You know, just all the features and functions, the quality, the performance, you know, the Hasselblad ac acquisition, um, you know, the dual stereo speakers. Man, I mean, it's a good device. I'm not trying to make it seem like it's a good device. I just don't think that it's worth the price. Okay? Call me crazy. I think that the only devices that are worth paying over $1,000 for in this frame of the game are the foldables. And some of the foldables. I ain't talking about no Razer 5G. Because the Razer 5G should only be like five nine nine. nine. You know what I'm saying? Charging $1,300 for mid-range specs. Get out of here with that. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, you know, 
the Z Fold 2, Z Fold 3, you know, the, 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 the Microsoft Duo, even though that was a bit of a bust, you know, eh, you know, you know, stuff, stuff like that. You know, we got, we, what, what, Xiaomi, they got their little foldable now, the, 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 the Mi Mix Fold, you know, that, that, now that's groundbreaking because that's only 1500 that's expensive, but I mean, given foldable devices, you know, with Samsung, they set the bar with these foldables being at 2000 You know what I'm saying? I just got my Z Fold 2 like two, three weeks ago, and I paid 1800 for that joint. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it only came down a couple hundred bucks. You know, I'm loving it. I think it's worth it. Call me crazy. But I mean, hey, I'm just saying for these conventional glass slabs, Unless there's something like really, truly extraordinary about it, we shouldn't be paying over a thousand bucks for these. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the main reasons why I'm so bored with smartphones right now because they all look the same. You know what I'm saying? It's like, give me, give me, give me this. You know, give me, give me this. Give me the ability to open this joint up, man, and do things that I can't traditionally do on one of these. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you know, I, you you won't hear me gripe too much about spending over a thousand bucks for something like that. But I mean, for the conventional, we paying over a thousand for the conventional? Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, man. Let me stop, man, because that's gonna turn into a whole nother rant. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. That's where I stand, man. Is it a good device? Yes. But I mean, if I have to recommend it, get the nine. You don't need the pro. Save yourself some money, and you're getting the, you know, just the, you know, the 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 the, the same, you know, uh, performance. The cameras on the OnePlus Nine are dope. You know what I'm saying? There, there's just a few, you know, a few things with the camera department that you get extra on here that you don't get on the nine. But do you really need that? Does the average consumer need everything that this camera is offering? The average consumer is the average consumer going to care? about the camera tech that is on this device. Hell, the, the average consumer don't even really give two dams about, you know, the, the, the internal specifications of the device. They're more so sold on just the name and the fact that it's the newest device. A lot of people don't even be checking for the internal specifications. We scrutinize, you know, all that stuff because I'm a reviewer. That's what I'm posed to do. You know what I'm saying? But the average consumer, they're just like, man, they, they be coming in not knowing what they want. I'll be in these, I'll be in the T-Mobile store or in the Best Buy store, and I just some I'll be ear hustling. I sit back and listen to these people that don't know a darn thing about smartphones. They come in and people make these recommendations, and, and they just, oh my God, yeah, this is this the salesman said that this phone does this and they do that. They don't know that I'm a reviewer and they don't know that I know all about this stuff. And I'll be sitting there shaking my head like, man. I can't believe they just got sold so easily on that. The average consumer don't care about a lot of the stuff that these phones are offering that jack the prices up. You know what I'm saying? So just get the 9 if you want the new OnePlus 9 Pro and save yourself some money. Unless you want the Pro. If you want the Pro, spend the money, man. You got to pay to play. You know what I'm saying? If you want the Pro, the Pro, you got to pay the Pro price. You know what I'm saying? But if you just want a good smartphone experience and you want the latest uh, uh, smartphone from OnePlus, just get the 9. Just get the nine, all right? And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to expose yourself to tons of videos that I've done like this one. If you're in the market for a new smartphone, check out my whole catalog because I've got a whole plethora of videos like this. And keep it locked here at Pristine Mobile Tech because I've got so much more content to come. Make sure you turn on the notifications so that every time I post a new video, you'll get notified and you can be one of the first to check out that video and get down in the comments and let me know what you think about the comment in which you saw. Let me know what you think about this content in which you saw. Okay, the comment section is where I'll be posted up chilling at, and uh, that's where I'll be waiting and willing to respond to your questions and comments. And the only thing that I ask of you, ladies and gentlemen, is that we keep it respectful. That's all I ask. Let's just keep it respectful, okay? I respect your opinion, you respect my opinion, and we'll just be up like that. Let's talk tech respectfully, all right? All right. Thanks for letting me bend your ear a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. And you already know, please stay safe, get spiritually fit, and keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Camera review rolling right out. All right, all right. What's going on, YouTube family? This your man, Pristine. 
down here at Redondo Beach, beautiful day, about 70, 75 degrees. This is what I'm talking about, man. Some beautiful spring weather. It's about time we get some consistent good weather where I can get out and about and put together these videos for you guys and not necessarily have to worry about the conditions. All right, now, um, is, this is the OnePlus 9 Pro, okay? This is the quad camera system on the rear of it. Is it really as good as advertised? Man, you guys be the judge of that. Now, first off, we've got a 48 megapixel f1.8 uh, aperture, 23 millimeter wide angle omnidirectional lens with PDAF, optical image stabilization, and laser autofocus. All right, we've got a 50 megapixel f2.2 aperture, 14 millimeter ultra wide lens. We've got an 8 megapixel f2.4, 77 millimeter telephoto lens, also featuring PDAF optical image stabilization with 3.3 times optical zoom and then we've got a 2 megapixel f 2.4 aperture depth sensor and as you guys know one of the main things that oneplus has been speaking specifically about with this phone is the collaboration with Hasselblad I mean so you know I gotta say that the still shot imagery is very very impressive you know, I do have a couple of gripes with this device, but the camera department is definitely not one of them. All right. And so in my personal opinion, in my personal opinion, and you guys got to remember these reviews, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they're objective and they're subjective. You know what I'm saying? I'm entitled to my opinions. I mean, so if you guys don't agree, that's totally fine. But I think that over the years, OnePlus has gotten scandalized and maligned and talked about so heavily about the fact that they want to be this company that's in contention with Apple, Samsung, Huawei, Xiaomi, and the camera department, but you, but you could just never really get over the hump. Well, I, I think that, you know, this this time around, you know, with uh, the collaboration with Hasselblad, I think that they're definitely in that same conversation. All right. So um, just moving around, you know, we got the pristine mobile right here. Oh, so fresh and so clean. Oh, well, actually, it's a little dirty to <laughs> run that back to the car wash, but sure you guys can't tell but um yeah you know we got that op that that optical image stabilization you know working very well and um you see the color reproduction the color accuracy i mean from what i'm looking at in the viewfinder i mean this is just absolutely gorgeous i mean look at the detail right i mean this is this is huge for OnePlus. I mean, this collaboration with Hasselblad. You know, some people were just like, oh, well, you know, I don't really think it's going to make a difference. They're also going to fall short of the greats. Well, like I said, I mean, you know, people are entitled to their opinion. If that's how you feel, then, hey, you're entitled to that. But, I mean, I've got this phone. I'm using it. And uh, these cameras on this device is, <laughs> yeah, they are they are no joke. No joke, ladies and gentlemen. No joke. Like I said, I've got some gripes in, in, you know, with this device. And I'll talk specifically about those in the full pristine review. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss that. But um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this one down and turn the camera around. We're going to go ahead and get some footage of the, uh, the 16 megapixel selfie camera. And then I'll go ahead and I'll roll the still shot images. All right? All right. Let me know what you guys think about the image quality of the recorder here of the rear camera. What's going on, y'all? All right, so this is the 16 megapixel sensor on the front of the OnePlus 9 Pro. Um, now, you know, a lot of people feel as though this camera on the OnePlus 9 Pro is its weakest link, right? Obviously, you know, there's the acquisition or the... Um, the, uh, the the collective effort, you know, with the cameras, uh, with Hasselblad on this phone. But a lot of people feel as though the selfie camera got completely ignored and they just focused on improving the technology within the rear-facing camera to give you better image quality and video uh, uh, quality and so forth. Um, and I got to say, you know, the rear camera on this device is, I mean, they're definitely in the conversation with the heavy hitters now. You know, Samsung, Apple, Huawei, Xiaomi, you know what I'm saying? Um... LG, you know, gotta throw LG in the mix. You know, a lot of you guys be sleeping on LG and their camera tech, man. They have some, they have some solid camera tech, some dope camera tech. So I'm not gonna sit there and just, you know, not, 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 uh, not give LG their roses. I've been giving them their roses, but especially now in their demise. Um, 
But this front, this front camera, I do got to say, it's a little bit suspect. Now, it's not necessarily anything that I faced on the uh, N10 5G. Um, and I understand that this is a flagship, you know, that's OnePlus's mid-range. But I mean, if you guys uh, don't recall, go back and take a look at that video, uh, the full pristine review that I did for the um, the uh, the OnePlus N10 5G. And, you know, go to the timestamps and go to the, vi uh, the, the, the camera review at the end of the video and look at the selfie camera on that phone. This phone seems to do a little bit better as far as image quality and just having the ability to adjust, you know, in different lighting conditions. The selfie camera on the N10 5G just really, really, really struggled to a point to where it was just like pretty much unusable. Like it, it was just, it was bad. Video qualities, I mean, selfies, selfies were, 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 were decent, you know, but video quality, it was terrible. And so it's good to see that this is an improvement over that. Um, but I still got to say, you know, you got, you got devices out here that cost half of the cost of the pro here with better front facing cameras than we have here on the pro. And so, um, you know, now I think it is worth mentioning that, you know, the one plus nine pro, and I believe the one plus nine did get an update and there was some updates to the camera. Uh, there was some updates to the camera. Um, I'm not exactly sure exactly what those updates are. You can look that up. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, apparently, you know, some of the gripes that, uh, that people have had, you know, with this device in the camera department, you know, OnePlus has, you know, gotten some wind of, and so, you know, they're making an attempt to do something about it. Um, but I gotta say, I, I have devices that have better selfie cameras that cost less than this phone. You know what I mean? Now, in, 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 in good lighting like this, you know, I'm in a beautiful day here in Seattle, Washington, you know what I'm saying? I mean... When it's nice and clear like this, I mean, you know, it's 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 simple to you know to 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 produce some some solid imagery, right? But even like look, you know, you got the sun shining directly into the camera, and so I understand, you know, it just looks blown out and overexposed in the background. You can't really see the true colors. I mean, it's clear skies out there. When I turn this way, you can see the clear blue sky behind me. But obviously, when I turn facing the camera, then it just kind of looks the way that it does, and obviously because the the, the sun the sunshine. Or the sunlight is shining directly into the lens but i've seen other cameras that haven't really struggled with that and they was able to make the adjustment to get the most accurate uh, uh, uh color accuracy and color reproduction possible so um you know overall i mean yeah i think this camera you know the, the selfie camera here is is definitely um doable for the average consumer you know i can definitely rock with it um but i mean there are better selfie cameras out there and so just kind of made you know it's just kind of a head scratcher as to why oneplus seemingly wouldn't emphasize on all the cameras on the front and the back of the device rather than just on the back of the device if that makes sense you know what i mean um so you know as i as i concluded in the video portion um i think this device is a good device overall you know what i mean this is definitely oneplus's uh, uh dopest device but as I mentioned, can I recommend it? If you want everything that this phone entails, yes. If you just want a top-notch OnePlus device, get the 9. Just get, get, just, just get the OnePlus 9. You know, to me, this phone is definitely not worth 1100 bucks or $1,069. Like I said, I mean, with taxes, depending on where, you're, where, you know, where you live, I mean, you're going to be paying close to 1100 if not a little over 1100 i mean to me it's just it's just not it's just not worth that okay it's just it's just not worth that um you know the, the cameras being dope isn't enough for me to hang on to this device and it's a good overall device but there are so many good overall devices that are good in all fronts at a fraction of the cost like that samsung galaxy a52 <laughs> that a52 is dope. I mean, you know, the cameras may not be quite as good as they are here on the OnePlus 9 Pro, but the cameras are very dual. They're, they're doable, and it actually has a better front-facing selfie camera on it than it does here on the OnePlus 9 Pro. So, um, you know, that's just my personal opinion, ladies and gentlemen. Get down in the comments and let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys think that this is worth it. If you guys think the OnePlus 9 Pro is worth the money. 
or would it just be better just to go with the one plus nine you're going to be saving a boatload of money because like i said this phone costs 1069 dollars plus taxes you're looking at close to 1100 bucks the one plus nine i believe runs uh full retail at 799 but i mean it's been out for a little minute i mean so maybe you can get some deals you know it's at pretty much all the carriers now i do like the fact that you know we do see oneplus evolving you know they used to have an exclusive contract with t-mobile but now it's like you're seeing their devices in verizon at&t they're being sold unlocked at your local best buy obviously other re uh, online retailers sell their devices i mean so you know it's good to see that they, you know they're, they're really getting their brand out there but i'm just not really a big fan of the fact that they got their claim to fame by undercutting the competition but as the years have gone on the prices have increased more and more and more and now they're in that thousand they're, they're in that thousand dollar territory you know what i mean they're in that thousand dollar territory and to me it's just not it's just not worth it it's just not worth it especially when you got other devices out there you know what i mean uh, that are cheaper, you know, you got the OnePlus 9, that's going to give you a very, very, very similar uh, experience with this one, and you're going to be saving a boatload of cash, I mean, so um, that's just where I sit, and you know, another thing too that I have a major problem with this device, and I've mentioned it in the video portion, this phone has major, major, major Bluetooth issues, okay, I can't have that. I can't have Bluetooth issues on a device that's $1,069 plus taxes. Why? Because I'm completely Bluetooth wirelessly connected all the time. I'm, connect I'm connected to Bluetooth speakers. I'm connected to my cars. When I, you know, that's how I stream music when I'm in my cars. You know, I'm connected to Bluetooth uh, devices that I put in my ear to talk on the phone. You know, I don't walk around with the phone in my ear like this. To me, that's prehistoric. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 Fred that's Fred Flintstone and and and, and George Jetson uh, days you know what I'm saying them days are over for me man I'm totally wireless and so I have to have a device that is reliable on the Bluetooth front and I said it in the video and even after the update even after the update it seems that this phone still has major Bluetooth issues what am I talking about I'm talking about just randomly disconnecting from the devices all the time and having to reconnect it is a major 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 annoyance and that is not something that you should have to deal with after you spend 1100 bucks on this device and so i'm not sure if everybody's having that problem but i mean for me i've been having that problem since day one since i've had this device out the box and i'm still having that problem and i'm like yo if oneplus don't push a fix you know what i'm saying hey i'm gonna get them off and so um you know there still hasn't been no fixed i've waited patiently you know what i'm saying i think you guys kind of know my style if you don't man i catch and release them man i get jay will style with it man you know what i'm saying there's only so long that i can be patient i'm very impatient you know what i'm saying i was raised i was the only child in my household man you know what i'm saying i got i got i got siblings i got brothers and sisters but they didn't grow up in the same house that i grew up in i mean so in the house i grew up in i was the only child i was spoiled riding <laughs> you know what i'm saying and and it turned me into a brat i'm not gonna front you know I'll, I'll admit that so patience is patience is not my strong suit you know what i mean especially with stuff like this i mean it's a major inconvenience and it and it and it, it, it disables my ability to be able to use this vice to the capacity in which i would like to you know what i mean and so like i said with that said bye bye nine pro <laughs> gotta get them out of here man you know what i'm saying so um Again, man, I hope you guys like this video. You know what I'm saying? If you do, hit that thumbs up button. Get down in the comments. Let me know what you think about the cameras. And, uh, you know, enjoy the music that I'm going to place in here. A little bit of musical heaven for your ears while you enjoy these still shot images. And uh, you already know. Thumbs up. Hit the like button. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. If you're not feeling it, hit that notification bell so that when my videos drop, you'll get notified. You can be one of the first to check those videos out. And let me know down in the comments what you think about that. Comment section is where I'm always chilling at. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, this. all I ask is that we keep it respectful. That's all I ask is that we keep it respectful in the comment section. All right? So, man, you know, let's talk tech respectfully. Okay. So, um, you already know, man. Please stay safe. Get spiritually fit. Keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. Catch you on the next one. Peace.